Can you describe the steps from the moment of inspiration to the final piece? I need to uh, have the structure clear. And then when I sit down and start writing, I actually just put down the, the stuff that is all decided already. It's just like painting. This time I also studied a lot of extended techniques of the instruments because I was looking for the particular sounds that would blend with of the city sounds and stuff. Uh, since I had kids, it's all dependent on um, the regime of the kids and my husband because they decide when I have free time. Since then, I simply have to use every every single uh, uh, free mo moment to work with no excuses. Um, with this composition, I was very lucky to be able to use uh, our garden and I composed most of the stuff there. How do you work with spatial audio? Last year, I do a lot. Uh, of sound installation in, in uh, real spaces. I, I got even to the virtual spaces lately. This time it was quite different because the position wise it was uh, more traditional, but the concept is very close to me. Do you find it bothering that the listener can decide what they hear when they can move freely in VR? I was thinking of this aspect from the very beginning and I think that it's just a main part of this piece. In general, I think they might be very interesting uh, for other works too. And combinations of sounds in from different positions, it gives certain freedom and a sense of exploration. Of Do you have your audience in mind while composing? Not constantly, but imagine someone who you really value listening to the composition and pushes you to do even better. Like every composition has its um, imaginary friend uh, who is ideal for the composition to <laughs> to be listened to it's not a real person and it's not a uh it's not the same person for for each work it's always different as i said i usually have it all in mind in advance and then ju i just put it down and then when it's ready i am ready to consult too with it's usually like with different people different compositions Usually not, meanwhile, the process. Why do you compose? I actually listen to no music at home. And I think that it's very important to start to be aware of the sounds of an env environment that we are in. It has no matter. It's uh, very easy to think that it doesn't interfere with our environment and bodies that much, but it actually is uh, very physical. I think that communicating with sounds is very truthful and straightforward because the language is so abstract that there is very uh, little space left for misunderstanding.